I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a full-size scarecrow. I come right in the center, at the top, in the middle, and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a circle. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Connect. Right underneath, going towards the right, I'm going to draw a straight line down on the right. Come back to the bottom of the circle straight line out on the left. Come back to the right, we're going to draw a straight line down, straight line in. Come on the left, straight line down, straight line in. Come back to the right, we're going to draw a slightly straight diagonal down, slightly curved line over and stop. Come on the left, straight diagonal down, slightly curved line in, connect. Come back over here on the right and we're going to go zigzag, 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 connect on the right. Come on the left, zigzag, 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 connect on the left. Come back to the right, we're going to go straight line, curve line down, up, connect straight line in. On the right, uh, left hand side, let's do it again. Straight line out, curve line around, up, connect, straight line in. Now I come all the way straight down and I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Come back to the left, slightly curve line, connect. Now I draw at the bottom, straight diagonal out, zigzag, 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 straight diagonal in, connect. I come over here on the left and I draw a straight diagonal out, slightly curved line in, straight diagonal up, whoops, connect. And on the right hand side, straight diagonal out, slightly curved line, straight diagonal up, connect. Now I come back to the left on the bottom and I go zigzag, 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 connect on the left, zigzag, 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 connect on the right. Okay. Come all the way back up to our circle in this top line and we're just going to draw slightly curved line down Right at the top, we're going to draw one, two, three baby circles. On the opposite right hand side, I draw a straight line across, come back to the left, big curve line up, over, connect. Come right above there and draw me a curve line, curve line down on the right, curve line down on the left right on the left hand side, straight line out, straight line in, connect, one dot. Now I come over here to my big circle. Watch what I do. Starting on the left, I'm going to draw a curved line, keep going, connect, come up to the top, curve line out, curve line in, connect. Come over here on the left and we're going to go zigzag, 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 connect on the left, zigzag, zigzag, connect on the right. Right in the center, straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect, right above there, one, two, dots. Starting on the left, I'm going to do a wavy, 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 wavy line, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. If you have room, right over here, I'm going to put a dot. From that dot, we're going to draw a curve line, leave it open, curve line down on the right, curve line down on the left. 
come inside and we're going to go straight line, straight line, straight line, dot, dot. Come right here at this indentation, slightly curve line out, curve line in. Come on the inside, curve line up, curve lines in. Okay. Let me see what else we need to do. Oh yes, we need to add a dotted line all the way around this section. Keep going, I know it's a lot. Take your time. Come up. Take your time, little dotted lines. All the way up, down, over, down connect. Now come over here and we're just going to draw a straight line one, straight line two, straight line three on the left, jump over, straight line down one, straight line down two, straight line three, connect. I think that's all that I never know until we start coloring. Okay, let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, we're going to start off with the pole that the scarecrow is attached to. That's these little cylinders on the left and the right, and that's the big pole going down the center and down here at the bottom. So that kind of gives you something to look at so you can kind of see where we're going. Now the rest of the colors you can really pick yourself, but there's some that I think work better than others. The first thing is we want all of the straw, that's all these zigzags, to be yellow. If you have a better color, go for it. But I used yellow on all these zigzags. This is all the straw. And now I've already forgotten something I knew I would. I forgot to do dotted lines on my pocket. Good, Patty. And I forgot to add a little bit of straw up here on his face. See, I never can tell until I start coloring. It's like, whoops, you forgot something. But there's no mistakes in art. You can always go back in and fix it. So, yellow for all of my straw. Orange for my noses. These are my beaks for my little crows. I put those orange. Okay. Now. I did his hat black. You can do any color you want. These are, like I said, these are the colors I chose. And do it lightly. I did my little crows. I did them black. Now you don't want to color so dark you can't see his eyes or all the little details you just drew. So do a light black. Okay. I did the stripes on his pants, red and white. I should say red and beige. We haven't come to that yet. Red. I did his little buttons red. Hokey dokey. Now, I use, I think this might be peach for the face. This is burlap. That's a material that's real rough. So I made his jacket this color. And some of you might go, well, I don't have that color. Well, you know what? You can use light brown. Just color lightly. Or you could use orange. And I did the stripes on his pants in this same color so it kind of all goes together. Then, if you have a pink, you might want to give a little pink cheek on the left and on the right. If you don't, that's okay. And then the last thing I did to add some color is I put some straight lines of blue-green like the sky, all the way down and around my scarecrow, because he is standing in a field. Keep going all the way to the edge, and I'm sure you'll do a better job than I'm doing right this minute. Keep going. Jump over your drawing. Don't draw through your drawing. That's not good. You know, because this has got a lot of detail, but it's very cute. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my scarecrow all colored in. He's supposed to be scaring crows, but I like these little crows hanging out on him. Okay, bye-bye.